The atrocities committed against the Uyghur minority in China's Xinjiang region have been getting well-deserved attention this week. Following Monday's announcement by the White House that the United States would have a diplomatic boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympics, the House of Representatives followed up with three bipartisan pieces of legislation to hold China accountable for their human rights abuses. And yesterday, the London-based Uyghur Tribunal issued a judgment based on its year-and-a-half-long investigations on the atrocities in Xinjiang. On the basis of evidence heard in public, the tribunal is satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that the PRC, by the imposition of measures to prevent births intended to destroy a significant part of the Uyghurs in Xinjiang, as such, has committed genocide. Joining me now to talk about the momentum that is building up against the Communist Party of China ahead of Beijing's Winter Olympics, which is less than two months away now, is Bob Fu, FRC's Senior Fellow for International Religious Freedom and President of the Texas-based human rights organization, China Aid. Bob, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Joseph, for having me again. Well, it's good to talk to you about this. Are you encouraged by the steps you see being taken by the United United States and others in response to human rights abuses. Indeed, Joseph, I am very much encouraged. At least this is uh, the f- good first uh, positive step toward the right direction. I mean, look, this is a, a genocide, a uh, crime against humanity, and it seems uh, the international community has reached a more uh, unanimous consensus. Uh, this is uh, not going to be tolerated. Yeah. Do you think there are additional steps the United States should be taking in response? Well, absolutely, there should be additional steps uh, to be taken. I think, uh, you know, uh, the uh, diplomatic boycott uh, is a a good first step. Um, But, I mean, look, uh, when Hitler uh, hosted uh, the Olympics as a, a show, and the whole world, uh, world uh, was uh, uh, deceived. Uh, can we learn another lesson? Yeah. I mean, the Communist Party, are they really interested in the sports activities alone? I mean, they're just trying to put a propaganda show. I would think, uh, you know, the Olympic sponsors, advertisers, uh, Nike, you know, uh, all these players, uh, this is a time uh, of uh, a moment of, tr- of truth, you know. How can we, you know, continue to play as usual uh, when the one to three million uh, fellow humans are in the concentration camps, being tortured, being gun ripped, and being abused, uh, including uh, hundreds of thousands of children? Mm-hmm. So we rescued, you know, one uh, lady uh, called Gu Zero, uh, this February uh, 2021, and she experienced more than two years in the concentration camp. Not only herself uh, was sexually abused, but she was one of the witnesses uh, seeing uh, the there is a systematic government uh, Communist Party organized uh, the uh, prostitution, forced the prostitution to those female uh, concentration camp, you know, uh, this Uyghur and Kazakh uh, people. So I think it's a good sign for those of us observing American politics that we've done something that is bipartisan. This is virtually unanimous in the House. Right. Republicans, Democrats are agreeing human rights abuses in China are a problem. We can't just do nothing about it. But my question is, will this have an impact or is it more symbolic? Well, I mean, as I said, this is just a, a first uh, positive step in the right direction. I think um, uh, by the end of the day, uh, I'm afraid, uh, you know, the money uh, continue to talk. You know, those uh, uh, like International Committee of Olympics, IOC, I wish they just listen a little bit, uh, you know, to those survivors of the camps, the persecution, and those witnesses, uh, really hundreds of them, uh, who testified before the uh, Uyghur uh, genocide, you know, uh, tribunal, and uh, listen to the cries of the families of uh, prisoners like Pastor John Hall's wife and children who is serving, you know, seven years imprisonment, and uh, Pastor Wang Yi serving 
nine years imprisonment, and those uh, uh, and, uh, others, many. I mean, we just recently even learned a, a church, uh, the deacon chairman, along with uh, her three co-workers, were all sentenced to criminal sentence. She received 12 years imprisonment for what? For putting an uh, offering and tithing uh, or box in the church. That's called financial fraud, 12 years imprisonment. So where are the conscience of those people? And I think uh, the WTA, the, the Women's uh, you know, Tennis Association, made the right decision. They are indeed the encourager. I think uh, all these uh, sports association uh, should learn from them. Yeah. I mean, they rather just, uh, you know, to uh, kowtowing to the Chinese money, which yeah. means $1 billion. You know, WTA withdraw the whole six games uh, from today's on from Chinese market uh, in order to tell the Chinese Communist Party enough is enough and uh, we don't need your money. Bob, you make a really strong case and we're thankful you're here to make this case because you're right, the human rights abuses are serious. Uh, they deserve international attention. They're getting a little bit now, uh, but we think we we need more and we appreciate you bringing that to our attention. Unfortunately, that's all we have for now. We're going to have to continue this conversation a little bit later. So thank you for joining us, Bob. Thank you, Joseph.